Hey, welcome back to Game Development with Pygame. This is part 13 of our Shmup game series, and we're continuing to work on our power-ups. The last time we added some power-ups that would randomly drop from the mobs when we shoot them. And we have the shield power-up adding back to our shield when we pick it up. But the gun power-up, the little lightning bolt, doesn't do anything right now. So we're going to fix that. So if we look at the game, right now when we shoot, we're shooting a single bullet. So there's a lot of different things we could do with the power-up, but one of them could be that when we pick it up, we we switch to firing two bullets, one out of each of the little wingtips. So we need to spawn two bullets when we get a gun power-up. So I'm just going to put here that when we pick up the gun power up, we're just going to do player dot power up. And then we'll be able to define that to be whatever we want it to be. And that'll make it easy for us to customize it, change it later if we want. So we're going to go up to the player. So here's my player. And we're going to need to define that power up. And what does that mean? Well, we're going to need a couple of variables as well, because I want my uh, power level. So we're going to have a self.power. And that power level is going to start out being level one. That's where we started shooting the one bullet. When we pick up the power up, it can add one to that. And we go up to power level two, which means we're going to shoot two bullets. So that's this is what's going to determine what power level we're on. We're also going to have a power timer so that we can keep track of Uh, when we picked up the power up so that we can drop back down to level one when the power when the power up runs out so it's just a little timer on the power up okay so we add those two and then we're going to go down here i'm going to do it near shoot because it's going to be related so we're going to define uh power up and what power up is going to do is it's going to add one to the power level, and it's going to set the power time. We're going to get ticks, and we're going to set the, so we're going to set the power time so we know what time we powered up. And now we just need to go to our shoot here, and instead of, instead of doing just one bullet, we're going to do one bullet if we're on power level one, and we're going to do two bullets if we're on power level two. So this would be if self.power equals one, right? We would do that stuff. But if power level is two, then we're going to spawn two bullets. Okay. Now, that means we want to set two different bullets at two different locations. So bullet in here, we'll just copy and paste this. And you're going to see this is going to be a little bit repetitive. And we're going to clean that up later, so don't worry about it right now. But so we want to take this bullet, right? And we want to spawn two of them. One of them is going to be at the left of our player sprite, and one of them is going to be at the right of the player sprite, right? And then where is it going to spawn? We need to spawn it a little lower. And it turns out if we spawn it at the center Y, then it'll look like it's at about the right spot. And you'll see when we, you'll see when we do it, how that works. So we're going to have to add both of these. So we're going to add bullet one and bullet two to the appropriate groups. Okay, so now if we're on power level one, we're going to do this. If we're on power level two, we're going to do this. Now currently, if we are on power level two and another lightning bolt drops, we're going to add one to it. So we'd be on power level three. We haven't really defined anything for that. And it's up to us to decide whether we want to keep going up with that. So I'm going to just put here um, greater than or equal to. So that way we don't 
have a power level that's not defined because otherwise we, we wouldn't be shooting at all if we were on power level three. So this way we can just sort of stick to two for now. Okay. So the only other thing we have to do is in our update, we just need to check if it's time to uh, drop back down because the timer has run out. Okay. So in the update, I'm going to do this timeout for power ups. Okay. So we're just going to say if our power level is greater than level one, because that's when we care about dropping down, right? And um, we get what we get what uh, time it is. If that minus the self dot power time, right? The last so however long it's been since the last time we or since we picked up the power up, I should say, is greater than some uh, power power up time uh, variable that we're gonna configure, then your power level should drop by one and your power time uh, can reset. That way later on if we decide to have three power levels or four or whatever, if you're on power level three and it's been that certain amount of time, then you're going to drop down to power level two and you'll stick at power level two for a while and, or for however long that time is. Okay, so we need to define that up here. Um, our power, our power up time. Um, let's set that to um, five seconds. So 5000 milliseconds for now. Okay, and let's take a look and see what we see. Now we just need to get a lightning bolt to drop. There it is. Okay, so now I'm shooting two bullets at a time. And now if we wait for five seconds to go by, we should see it drop back to um, there being one bullet. There we go. Okay, so now it dropped back. Okay, so a couple other things to do. And one I said I was going to take the power up and speed them up. And maybe I'm going to put that at, oh, let's try four or maybe even five. I just want them to fall a bit faster. They're going way too slow. Um, and then we also don't have currently a any kind of sound associated with picking up the power-ups. And that's a little boring. Uh, it'd be a little more interesting if we could hear a little sound. So I'm going to also add some sounds. And I added a couple of sounds, one for each of the power-ups. So I'm going to go to the section here where we're loading all of our game sounds, and we need to load a couple more. So I'm just going to uh, quickly duplicate that. And we're going to call this the shield sound. And then we're also going to have the, um, the power sound. Okay, And this one is called pow4.wave, and this one is called pow5.wave. Okay, So we just want to play those whenever either of those events happen, right? And so the shield power-up happens when we pick up the shield. So we can just, uh, right here, we power up the shield, we play the shield sound. Uh, when we power up the player, uh, we're going to play the power sound. Oops, power sound. Okay, let's try that out real quick and see how that sounds. All right, that's good. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's about it for basic power-ups. Uh, obviously there's a lot more things we could do with them. The gun power-up could increase your fire speed as well as how many bullets you, you do. We could have a level 3, a level 4. Uh, we could have an, even have different types of gun power-ups that do different things and combine in different ways. You can get as complex as you want to get with it. 
Um, we could also have other power-ups that give us uh, some lives back. Since we can lose lives now, we could also have uh, something that gives us lives back. Um, basically, there's a lot of different things we could do. And if we think about our game right now, we've reached you know, about 350 lines of code. Um, and we have a lot of features going on. There's a lot of things going on. You scroll through here, there's a lot of code. There's a lot of things to keep track of and remember where they are. Um, so this is kind of a, a point you reach in most projects uh, where it's starting to get complex. And as you add more things, it starts to get complicated to keep track of, of everything that's going on. Um, and so in our next video, we're going to talk about uh, kind of what should we do at this point uh, to deal with the complexity issue and how can we keep this from getting out of control if we keep adding more things to it. All right, and I'll see you next time.